Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and glad you're back for another little diversion here in our bubble of beauty and happiness and just push out the rest of the world and have fun with our makeup. So I thought I would try some of the uh, items that I got in the BoxyCharm. Also, I got a uh, Smashbox BB cream. I've never tried a BB cream. And uh, uh, <laughs> easy for me to say, and a concealer. Um, so we're going to give that a try. I've already done my skincare. I'm a little bit more red than usual today. That's just kind of how it is with my skin sometimes. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try out this Smashbox concealer. It's called the Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. And I basically only got it because I wanted to try the BB cream. So I thought, well, why not try one of their concealers at the same time, right? Oh, it's got a huge doe foot. But I'm going to try and conceal some of this red before I put the BB cream on. I don't know if that'll work or what, but we're going to give it a try. And I'm just going to pat it around. So it kind of stays in that area. I've got my mirror over here to the side so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. I'm also looking in the camera, which can be a bad thing because it looks like I'm looking off into space, right? But it is calming down the red a bit. So that's good. It's light, um, almost like a white. What color did I get? I got color Fair Light Neutral, which I'm not really fair, but I'm a light. So I thought being a new Fair Light Neutral, it would be a good choice for me. It might be a little too light. Could be. All right, we're going to try this. It's called the 5-in-1 Miracle Worker BB Cream with SPF 35. So I wanted to try this because sometimes in the summer you just want kind of something light. And I've never tried a BB cream. So I thought it would be cool. And it says it primes, perfects, hydrates, controls oil, protects with SPF 35. Reduces the appearance of fine dry lines, which I have dry skin, predominantly dry skin, like normal to dry. Um, wear alone or under foundation for more coverage. And it says to apply a small amount and blend light, uh, lightly with your fingers. So hopefully I picked the right color on this. You never know online, right? So this is light neutral. So I figured this should be my color. We'll see about that. Yeah, not too bad. I have to say, we're not used to applying with my fingers. It kind of smells like it's got a light scent of sun tan lotion or sunscreen which I guess makes sense since it is a sunscreen. I want to kind of bring it down a little bit. I'm not sure I'm liking this finger spreading. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. I'm probably rubbing too hard too. And I know it's supposed to give you light coverage. So I'm not expecting total totally great coverage but actually it's doing a pretty good job I'm going to apply a little bit more over my cheeks maybe I should have done the concealer on top of the foundation I don't know 
because it's still got that redness. Might have to use a different concealer, maybe. I have my Laura Mercier here, so we could maybe try that. But all in all, not too bad. I'm going to put a little bit more in the forehead here. Because it looks kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm noticing now, especially in this forehead region where I put the concealer, it doesn't seem to like to blend real well over that concealer. Everywhere else it looks pretty good. I got a little bit of redness here, so let's cover that up. Well, not too bad. I think I'll use my Laura Mercier concealer to try and get rid of some of this redness a little bit better up here and lightening it up a bit a little bit better hmm I'd have to say, and I'll have to see how this wears and whatnot. It has the feel of sunscreen. Um, that kind of, almost like a tacky feeling. Um, so yeah. So it probably would be good if you're gonna be out for the day and you do want a little bit of coverage. Um, obviously, it's not giving me great coverage. I am gonna go ahead and try um, a little setting powder, see if that kinda smooths things out. And I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder, but I'm using my new brush that I got from um, BoxyCharm, and it's the Baddington Powder Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Just pat on some powder here. Maybe that can uh, even things out a little bit. That is helping to smooth it, I think. I'm just using a very light touch and patting. Trying to pat over like dark the red spots to try and get it to stick a little bit better. Maybe I just won't use that much blush. I've learned that um, over the years, because of this redness, sometimes I just don't put blush here. I'll just put it here like it's continuing, you know, so it's like a part of the blush. Um, so that helps sometimes. All right, so we got a little powder on to set things a little bit. And then uh, let's go ahead and do those eyebrows. That's usually the part that takes me the longest. Um, although I have gotten better as I've learned with different products, you know, what works with me, what doesn't. Um, unfortunately, sometimes makeup is trial and error, so, yeah, I have, uh, pretty much found my holy grails, and now that I'm getting closer with the mirror, I can see where I didn't blend out the foundation very well. Yeah, and you know what, wherever I put that um, that concealer, it just totally broke down over that. That's interesting. Everywhere else it did okay, but it's like it just broke down over the concealer. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Not good. Um, yeah, next time I'm going to have to try it with, 
Well, I could put a primer on too, that might help. Um, but try it without concealer first. So yeah, we'll have to try that. Okay, so combed through the brows. The next step is I use um, Kat Von D's um, uh, brush. And I like this because the bristles are a little bit firmer than like even the Anastasia um, brush. It's just easier for me to get those you know, brush strokes. Um, yeah, so it just works better for me. And then I've got the Anastasia brow powder. I use dark brown. And they have a light side and a dark side, but really I just use the dark. Because, yeah, I have dark hair. And so I go according to the Anastasia Stasia <laughs> metrics, though, with where to, you know, do your um, start and end points and arch and all of that good stuff. And I still kind of mark it out, unless I'm in a really big hurry, then I just kind of estimate it. But um, just to remind myself of where my landmarks are. So I find that helpful. And I can always dust away what's not supposed to be there. My little marks. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And your families are doing well. We had a beautiful day on Saturday. Sunny and warm, but not too warm. It was like perfect. We had a little like nice little breeze, you know, not too bad. And, um, so I did a lot of gardening, working on that. I wish I could have worked on it more on Sunday, but Sunday it was like a downpour all day. So there you have it. And I am filming right now on a Monday. Okay. So I just get kind of the basics of my brow down with the powder. And then, do my marking again. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this BB cream, but it could be just the fact that I put that concealer down first. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with it. Like I said, this is my first time trying it and my first time ever with a BB cream. So, you know, I don't know. I can't compare it to any other BB creams. Maybe you all can give me suggestions on something light with sunscreen to wear in the summer. When you just want a little something, you don't want to go the full makeup job, but you want some foundation. You know, cover up a little bit of the areas you don't like so if you have any suggestions please leave me a little note down below and I think I didn't say in the beginning but I do I am a little over 50 and um, so my makeup is in a routine and skincare and everything is geared more towards 50 plus women um, we definitely have different concerns than a teenager or a 20 something year old would have. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more videos like this, then definitely, um, hit the like button and, uh, subscribe. That would be great. And I do some skincare, some wellness. I've done a couple and I need to do more of something I call nurse's notes because I am a nurse. Um, 
I'm still trying to kind of blend out and fix this bad BB cream apply application. All right. <laughs> so then I take my hourglass um, micro brow and add some hair where there isn't any and fill in some hair where there isn't any. <laughs> I try to go for kind of a natural look. Sometimes I go a little bolder, but pretty much I try to stay kind of lightish over here and then get darker as I come out. I've actually gotten a lot quicker at my brows than I was in the past. It just, it's been a struggle trying to figure out the perfect routine. And actually, I saw another routine that I want to try on Instagram using all Anastasia products. Um, and the reason I use this pen, pen, the micro from Hourglass and not the Anastasia, is it just seems to match my hair better than the Anastasia's did. Plus Anastasia's um, pencil seems to be a little harder and this goes on a little bit smoother. So that's my reasoning behind that. All right, so very good. We got that. Let me get my little spoolie and we can uh, brush it out a little bit. Try and keep it natural looking. Well, now the feathered brows are the thing and um, I don't know I think I'm too old for it <laughs> um, they just look too bushy I've never been into bushy brows I guess I'm not a Brooke Shields kind of girl all right well that's pretty good so we got our eyebrows in and oh, I was gonna try. Um, I'd gotten this lovely little thing, it's Sugar Rush um, Butter Balm, and I usually use my Lippy Balm by um, Drunk Elephant. Like, while I'm doing, I put it on before I, which I forgot to this time, but I put it on before I start my um, makeup. And then it has a chance to kind of soften my lips and soak in. And then uh, then by the time I get to my lipstick, you know, it's, it's like absorbed. So, yeah. And I'm going to put some eye shadow primer. This is Laura Mercier. And I am going to get my mirror for this. It goes on so nice. I'm still not sure I found the perfect eye shadow primer. Laura Mercier is really good. I do like that. Um, I'm not really liking um, what was I going to say? Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer because it just seems too tacky, if that makes sense. Oh, I forgot. I forgot eyeshadow. Crap. All right, you know what we're going to do? We are going to use, I happen to have in here, my recent um, Natasha Denona edition. It's the Diamond and Blush. So I think I might try to use that for my eyeshadows. Some people do that with great luck. So I'm gonna give it a try. All right, so I tend to go lighter to, um, to darker. I'm gonna try 
the highlighter in the more creamy blend. And I'm using my big fluffy brush. Um, it is E40 from Sigma. I know why I don't have eyeshadow in here. I was going to pull the Natasha Denona to try. Um, and then I remembered seeing this palette in here, but I thought it was my eyeshadow palette. And that's probably why I didn't grab it from my vanity oh well we'll make do right plus I get to use this for the first time and this was part of my last Sephora haul so that's fine I think it looks pretty good actually we'll see and then I'm, I'm sticking with the creamy ones that are the top. And she has this little <laughs> plastic cover that goes over it so that like the dusty ones don't get onto the creamy ones. Isn't that nice? And I'm gonna use this wash for my crease and my corner. Cause why not? We'll just go for a more natural look. It's not bad. Could be worse. I'm gonna get down here in the corner too. Yeah. This is my first time, and I've seen other people do it. I know it can be done nicely. This is my first time using a cheek product on my eyes. So we'll see how this does. I think so far it looks pretty. Let me get a little bit farther up on this fleshy part. That's good. Darken that up a bit. I'm gonna darken this corner a little bit. that's pretty and then I'm going to I'm looking for what brush I want to use yeah, I think I'll use this one. I'm just gonna use my little pencil brush here and go into one of the powder highlights and press that into here Yeah, that's pretty. It brings some brightness in there. Oh, I should have probably done. Oh, well, I could have done the purple one too. I'm going to get the inner corner here, a little bit of highlight. So now you know, in a pinch, you can use <laughs> that. The blush palette for your eyes. And, oh shoot, I know I brought it. Here we go. Um, let's do this one. Get a little color underneath the eye here. Oh yeah, I just realized I didn't conceal my under eye yet. I should probably do that before I put shadow on or blush in this case. Let me do that. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier for under my eyes because, I don't know. I guess because I'm more comfortable with it. I know it'll work well. And I just really want this space right here. I'm a little dark there today.
and I'm just patting, patting, patting. Always patting. There, that's a little bit better. Now I'm going to do some shading underneath there. Now that it looks a little lighter. So, what have you all been doing? I'd love to hear. Any new makeup that you think I should try? Or any other types of beauty products that you've recently gotten for your hair or whatnot? My grays are really bad. I've been wearing ponytails a lot because it's the only way I can cover most of it. Otherwise, I look like I have a skunk stripe down the side. In the center of my head it's awful all right so there we go with that and now I'm going to put some eyeliner on and I know I brought one in here I'm gonna switch mirrors because that one's a little hard for me to handle and this is NYX retractable eyeliner um, and it is waterproof and what color is it? Black Noir. Um, and I've been using this lately to try and decide if I really like it or not. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to bring my table a little closer. And you a little closer. <laughs> there we go. Because it's much easier for me to not hold anything and do my eyeliner. So yeah, I haven't quite decided if I like this liner or not. I bought it just to because I've heard good things about NYX and I wanted to give it a try. But honestly, I mean, this is supposed to be a black. But um, I'd say it's more of a charcoal color, to be honest. And it's very creamy. So you don't get like a really good crisp line. Um, which you don't on a lot, I'm sh I know, but it's just harder to get a nice line. So I go back with my brush here. Give it a little oomph. And this is Sigma's E65. There, that's pretty good. Now let's see if I can do a halfway decent job on the other eye. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has trouble being right-handed and doing the left eye. It's always been a little bit difficult for me. Like I said, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I just realized I didn't put any ambient music on. I usually try and do that. Well, not usually. I should say I just started doing that because it just seemed nice to have a little bit of just an ambient sound going on. Oh, it's still kind of cloudy today. I really kind of want to work in the garden some more, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. Well, once again, I didn't get my eyeliner even. <laughs> Another constant problem. <laughs> but not too bad. That's pretty good. And I don't always line all the way underneath. Sometimes it just come a little bit down. But, I don't know, I just felt like doing the whole thing today. And I'm going to use 
my Kevin Aquan mascara that I just got in um, BoxyCharm. So check that out. The brush is curved, kind of, has a full brush there, but then kind of lighter in the inside, as far or shorter, I should say. Um, it's going on nice. I don't have particularly long lashes, which I wish I did, but I don't want clumpy looking ones either, you know? I just like a full natural look. And I have tried um, false eyelashes. I don't know, I need to probably give them a fair try, but I just have a hard time wearing them. They're just not comfortable for me. And I know part of that is just getting used to it. And I haven't really had the patience to keep trying. <laughs> well, and I don't get fully like makeup up makeup up whatever um i don't go for full makeup when i go to work and especially now because i have to wear a mask and so then it just gets all smeared up in there but um so i don't even waste my time with a bunch of makeup when i'm going to work bb cream is still kind of malleable Anyway, there's eyes and then um, cheeks, right. So in my box, I got Milk Makeup. It's a lip and cheek. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. Hmm. And I'm wondering how I should do this. Ooh, it's pretty sheer. Maybe I'll just try with the finger, right? And like I told you before, I'm gonna kind of remain up here because I've already got the pink stuff going on down there with my natural color shining through. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Yeah. So there's that. Should I try some on my lips? It's okay. It's a nice cheek one though. I could probably even go a little bit darker on that, but we'll leave it be for now. Um, and I'm going to try again. I had recently got, uh, the Fenty matchstick. Um, and I'm still deciding on it. That got a little weird. Um, it's creamy-ish, but it's kind of hard. And I've been having a hard time finding the best way to blend it. Um, the sponge works pretty well, but it doesn't, it seems to spread it out too much. So if you wanted to use it for contour, which I'm, that's what I'm using it for right now, um, it kind of spreads it out too much so you don't get that like contouring which is what I want from it. Um, so it's not real easy to blend. But as you see, I did get it blended, but one side always looks better than the other, doesn't it? <laughs> My eyes are particularly hoodie today. 
probably because I don't have the right kind of eyeshadow on. <laughs> that would make a difference. <laughs> um, okay, and what else do I need? I need my bronzer. And I am using the NYX uh, brush number three. And I'm using my Guerlain um, bronzer. Looks like that. This is in the color, um, it's Terracotta Light, um, 03 Natural Warm. And this was recommended by a few YouTubers that I watch. It's a really super great bronzer. So I decided to give it a try. It is a little bit pricey. But I do like it. It's not as dark as some of them, which is great right now while I am still fairer than usual. Um, or in the summer, I mean. And it just blends really nicely. I feel like I want to go more in here. All right, and then we'll do a highlighter. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. Isn't it the most gorgeous thing? It just looks like satin or silk just sitting there. And then I use for my highlighter Sigma's Duo Fiber in F50. And I just try and catch the outsides here because I don't want to highlight my little bags right here. So we'll highlight that. And we'll give a little highlight here. A little bit on the nose. A little bit on the chin. Well, it's fair, kind of. It's not my best makeup job, that's for sure. And I'm going to go in with my Chanel Nude um, Lip Liner. My lips are a little bit too moisturized for a lip liner. I don't know where the lid went. Anyway, and then I had gotten, um, during the Nordstrom sale, they um, I saw a recommendation for this lip product. And now I'm trying to, I know it's Rouge something. Uh, and then this color is Intense Caramel. But it's a long-lasting uh, lip product. So it's a liquid lipstick, um, little doe foot. And it goes on nice and smooth. And then my foundation is like not blended in over here. All right, um, so it goes in nice and smooth and then it's almost kind of like a stain. But um, so I give it a few seconds to dry down a little bit. And then on the other side is a gloss and it's supposed to help it be extra long wearing. And it gives it a little bit of a shine. There we go. 
So that seems to go with everything pretty well. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have the right eyeshadow with me when I was filming, but it gave you an idea of how you can improvise if you just brought your brush, blush with you. Brush, blush, your blush with you. So hopefully I gave you some ideas. Um, I showed you a few of the new things that I got that I'm gonna keep trying. And eventually I'll get to a review, um, but I do wanna give things a chance. I definitely need to try out that BB cream some more and um, see if my application strategy is not good. I think that's probably part of the problem was that concealer that I put on first. So anyway, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Have a good week. This is Monday. I already posted a video today, so this will probably come up on Wednesday then. And until next time, ciao, Bella. Mm -hmm.